So this video is for the pressure and number lab. So in this lab, the purpose is to determine the relationship between the pressure of a gas and the number of moles of gas or the number of particles of gas. So we're looking at the relationship between pressure and number of particles. So your hypothesis for this lab is going to look very similar to your hypothesis for the pressure and volume lab. You're going to use the table in the back of your lab book that has the six different relationship options, and you're going to predict which relationship you think exists for pressure and number of particles. So you have six different options. Please choose one to make your prediction. So your hypothesis can be as simple as, I predict that the relationship will be fill in the blank. So after that, we have our procedure. Now, I've already done the first couple of steps and everything is set up. So I have this set to events with entry. We're looking at numbers. Our units are in moles. Pressure is set to atmospheres. My syringe is set at 15 milliliters and it's connected to my gas pressure sensor. Now, for this lab, since we can't actually count the number of gas particles, we're gonna say that for every one milliliter of gas, we push into the pressure sensor. We are pushing in one mole of gas particles. That's an assumption we're gonna make for this lab, really just to simplify things. So for every one milliliter I push my syringe in, I'm adding one mole of gas. So let's go ahead and hit play. Now I have this set at 15, and so this works a little bit differently. So I'm gonna push it in to 14, now I didn't push in 14 milliliters. I went from 15 to 14. So I pushed in one mole of gas. So I'm gonna type in a one. Now I'm gonna go from 14 and I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna go to 13. So now I've gone from 15 to 13. So that means I've added two moles of gas to the pressure sensor. And then I'm gonna keep going. 13 down to 12. So now I've added three. And then 12 down to 11. Now I've added four. And then down to 10. Now I've gone from 15 to 10, so I've added five. And then I'm gonna go down to nine. Now I've added six moles of gas. And then I'm gonna go down to eight. And so I've gone from 15 to eight, so I've added seven moles of gas. And then I'm gonna go one more. I'm down at seven. Oops, that's not what I meant to type. So now I've added eight moles of gas. And as I push the syringe in, it's getting harder and harder to push it in farther. I probably couldn't, I can barely get it down to six, but I'm not gonna go ahead and record a data point there because it's getting really hard to hold. And as you can see, the farther you push it in, the more it's gonna push back. So it gets harder and harder to push the syringe in as you're increasing the number of moles. Okay, so now I'm gonna hit stop. And there is my graph of my data. So you can sketch the graph in your lab notebook. And again, you're gonna match the shape of this graph to one of the six options in the table in the back cover of your lab book. So you're gonna decide what relationship you think this has. And then if I go over one tab, there is my data table. Let's see if I can. There we go. Hopefully that's clear enough that you can copy the numbers into your data table. Okay, so we have our data table. We have our graph. Um, you should predict what, well not predict, you should identify what type of relationship you think this is. And then to write your summary, you need to know what the accepted relationship is. The accepted relationship between pressure and the number of particles is a linear, it's a positive linear relationship. So as you can see, it's going up linearly. So that means as you increase the number of particles, as you increase the moles of gas, your pressure is gonna go up. And it's gonna go up at the same rate. So for each mole that you add, it's gonna go up the same amount with pressure. So the accepted, or the accepted results for this lab are a positive linear relationship. So from here, you should be able to write your lab summary and finish up the pressure and number lab.